to Harrah's in Las Vegas. So we tried the $20 trick today and it did not work. Dun, dun, dun. A lot of you guys have asked me what happens if you don't get the upgrade, do they take your 20? In my experience, no, they just hand you back your 20. She politely was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any free upgrades available, but if you would like to upgrade, you can pay an extra charge and they're available right now. So of course we decided let's pay for the upgrade. We are staying in the Mountain Junior Executive Suite at Harrah's. Let me show you around. Haras has recently re-renovated all of their rooms and you can definitely tell you have some really beautiful chairs that feel brand new and this wonderful entertainment area. And then if you head this way, you're gonna head straight into the bedroom. The bedroom is a fantastic size. We have our beautiful king bed. There's another TV in here and a wonderful vanity area to do your makeup. I'm very happy with that. The bathroom is a wow for me. This definitely feels like a sweet bathroom. This tub is gigantic, a beautiful soaking tub, huge shower. So really, really happy with the bathroom and you have a separate water closet for your toilet. So that is it for the room tour. Before we go any further, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in partnership with Ramwi. They have generously gifted me all of the clothing that I will be wearing in today's video. I'm gonna have links for everything down below. So if you see anything you like, you can go ahead and click the links and you will also get a code for 15% off. So it's really hot outside now and I think it's time to head to the pool. Okay guys, made it down to Hera's pool. There are two pools here. One is like your typical three foot pool, kind of small, and then you have like your baby pool-ish. This one's about one foot deep. There is a cool like rain shower head. First impression though, it's not a huge pool area and there is not a ton of free seating here. We're here early and it already feels like the chairs could get filled up pretty quick. So we relax for a little while at the pool. Overall, it's kind of a small pool area. It's not huge, it's not my favorite, kind of between two buildings. The pool water did feel really nice. It was a good temperature, but I was in the like one foot deep pool area. I would say get here early to get chairs if you're planning to come here, or maybe consider getting a cabana because those are like directly next to the pool. But yeah, I think we've had our fill, and after this, we are gonna go and explore Harrods. Okay guys, went upstairs, got changed, came right back down, grabbed ourselves some cheap lunch. And one thing I wanna talk about with Harrah's is the awesome location. You are right next to Casino Royale, across from the Mirage, right by Caesars. You're like a quick little jaunt over to the Link Promenade and the Flamingo. This is a really prime spot for a hotel. One of my favorite bars to come to when we live stream is this daiquiri bar right outside of Harrah's. $3 jello shots, $6 shots of Patron, and those big yard long drinks if you don't feel like waiting in the Fat Tuesdays line. A really fun entertainment spot inside Haras is the piano bar. Here they do dueling pianos, and during the weekends they'll have all the windows open. You hear the crowd, it's really fun. Unfortunately, it's not open during the week right now, but a really fun entertainment option if you're staying here at Haras on the weekends. A little history for you about Haras. In 1973, the Holiday Casino was opened, which was a riverboat themed casino right outside of the Holiday Inn. In 1992, it was remodeled and rethemed to the Mardi Gras and Carnival Court theme that we know today that is Haras. This year, Haras just finished a $200 million renovation. They finished renovating all of their rooms and added really beautiful neon signage out to the front of the hotel. As far as 
restaurants go, you do have a lot of options like the Oyster Bar. You also have Fulton Street Food Hall here. They have pizza, burgers, sandwiches, breakfast. Don't worry, we're gonna be eating here tomorrow morning. There's also Ruth Chris's Steakhouse, but we're really craving pizza. So I think we're gonna go next door to Pizza Cake. Cake is Buddy V's restaurant. Buddy V is famous for Cake Boss, and so that is why you will have pizza for his Italian heritage as well as different flavors of cake. You can get cheese pizza here at Buddy V's for $5.95. Really good price and a really big size pizza. You can also take it to go up to your room, so a really good option if you're here at Haras and you want a quick, cheap dinner. band every night of the week. It is free to come in here. They have table games out here. There's a lively bar. It's pretty hopping, pretty awesome, and we are going to enjoy the night here, and we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. We just woke up, got ready. I think we're going to head downstairs and try breakfast at the Fulton Food Hall because they have a bunch of options that we want to try. We've made it down to Fulton Food Hall and placed our order. It's relatively new here to Harrah's, but what's awesome is that you have a variety of options. They serve sandwiches, soups, salads, pizzas, burgers, tacos, as well as a full breakfast menu. Another really fantastic thing is that they serve coffee here, and the line is never nearly as long as the Starbucks lines. Mr. Ruby came down here at 5.30 this morning, and they were already serving coffee and pastries, so if you're an early riser, Harrah's has definitely got you covered. We're gonna wait for them to call our order and see what we got for breakfast. Got our food. I decided to try the avocado toast. Mr. Ruby got a breakfast burrito. This was $11, the breakfast burrito was $13, Breakfast burrito is probably a little bit better deal, but I wanted something light. Uh, this has guac and pico. I'm probably just gonna bite it. I always try to cut it and be ladylike, but it's not gonna happen. Let's give it a shot. The bread is really good and it's toasted on the grill, so it's really buttery. The pico and the avocado are fresh. My egg is like a fried egg. I really like it. It's good. Not bad for the price. Okay, time for me to give my final thoughts on Harrah's. There's some things I liked about Harrah's and some things I didn't. Let's start with the room. This is a junior executive suite. Now, my original room that I booked with Harrah's was just the standard king room, and I was comped for that room. Let me clarify something. I've seen a lot of comments of you guys thinking that means the hotel comped me or the hotel is having me come review this room for free. That's not the case at all. The hotel has no idea I'm here. I am using comps through Caesars Rewards, which is a program where if you spend money at the hotels and you come often, they're going to give you comps and rewards. I actually have a video explaining how I get these free rooms all the time, and I will link it for you below. I've been getting free rooms since way before I had a YouTube channel. If the hotel was giving me something, I would let you guys know. So my original room was free. We did try the $20 trick and it was unsuccessful this time, but that is okay. We decided to upgrade to this junior executive suite for about $68 for the night. So $68 for this room is incredible. I will say you can always upgrade when you get here and pay a little extra surcharge, even if the $20 trick doesn't work for you. It's half of what we would have paid for this room. This room on average should have cost about $160 a night of like a week-long average, including the resort fees. I think that is an incredibly good price. Truly, I do. It is a large room, it's spacious. I don't think $160 is bad at all. The average room rate for a regular room was around $90 for a whole week-long average. $90 all in with resort fees for a room is a good price in Vegas. I think that is on the more affordable end. And with all the rooms being renovated and new, I think that's great. They are truly like brand, brand new. Let's talk about location. I think location of Harrah's is excellent. You're in a very centrally located position, which is a great advantage. 
It also means that food options are endless. There are cheap eats all around you, and there are some good food options here inside Hara's. We did eat at Pizza Cake, and we ate at Fulton Food Hall, and both were good. I also really wanna try the Oyster Bar here. It looked very lively, and a lot of people were there, so I do wanna come back here and try it. The one downfall of this hotel, the thing that makes me kind of not recommend it to you guys is the pool. I really didn't like the pool area here. Now, the large pool did go all the way to five feet, which you don't normally see, but these pools were really small and you're in between buildings, it felt congested, it didn't feel pretty or relaxing, and there were very, very few chairs for people to use that were free. All of the space was taken up by like cabanas or day beds that you have to pay for. There's also like a kiddie pool, so there were a lot of babies. It's just not a pool area I personally would want to go to. Now, I have put up a poll on my Instagram before. Follow me there if you don't, by the way. And a lot of you guys said the pool doesn't matter to you at all. That you don't use the pools when you're in Vegas and that doesn't matter to you. So if you're here off pool season or you don't swim, you can just totally disregard that. Crowd-wise, I would say it's very, very mixed. There were young people here that were at the carnival court and partying. There were a lot of families with kids, and there were a lot of elderly people, older people. But at night, there were a ton of young people gambling in here. The casino is really big, and there is a huge variety. This hotel doesn't have a whole lot of like aesthetic stuff to show you because it really is just a gigantic casino with some rooms attached. I think that you would be happy if you stay here as long as you're not here for a pool vacation. If you are here to swim, definitely skip this place. So those are my final thoughts on Harris. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not a subscriber, maybe if you could hit that little subscribe button, that really does help my channel out. And I hope to see you guys all in my next hotel review. Bye.